Hello. Ugh. What is wrong? Am I You're not singing. This isn't a performance. Hello and welcome to the TMZ podcast. I'm Charlie Cotton. I'm Charlie Nav. And today on the podcast, we're talking about Kanye. Yes. Because someone's come out with a very interesting case against him. I think it seems plausible, but it's about like trailing Bianca Sensori when she's in Australia. Yeah, and following her every move. Right. Uh, we'll talk about Martha Stewart. She made a very interesting confession on a Netflix documentary coming out about her, said that she uh, cheated on her husband. One of her husbands, and she said that he might not even know. Right. Jessica Chastain. <laughs> She, is getting chastised. Oh, chastised. I like that. I like that. Uh, yeah, she had an in-flight meltdown over the entertainment system not working. Mm -hmm. And finally, Travis Kelsey's ex, Kayla, she is speaking up about all the hate being directed at her by the Swifties. Yeah, and she wants them to stop. To begin with, though, Kanye West, he has an ex-Ray Donovan type, an ex-fixer who would do everything for him. Yep. And this fixer has just sued him. Uh, he's anonymous. So he's going by John Doe for the moment. Uh, I and never he, realized there's, obviously there's Jane Doe. I never realized there was John Doe too. Yep. Jane and John Doe. If you don't want to be, <laughs> you know. Revealed. Revealed. Uh, he says he was Kanye West's fixer in that he was initially hired to be his campaign manager for a presidential run. But then when that kind of fell apart, he became Yeezy's director of intelligence, mm -hmm. which had him working all these little private dealings for Kanye. Yeah. And in this whole lawsuit, uh, he says that the position required him to be responsible for handling Ye's NDAs and other investigations. And these investigations allegedly include her, included a closer look at the Kardashians and Bianca, and he was tasked with hiring in private investigators to tail Bianca without her knowledge. While she was in Australia as well. Yeah, and for any time that she would travel solo, you know, whether it was Australia or wherever she was. Um, and this man is claiming that he was tapped to look into the Kardashians' supposed various criminal links. Well, that's what Kanye thought. Kanye thought his ex-family, the Kardashians, had criminal links. He believed that his former in-laws participated in sex trafficking. I mean, I, I can I, I can believe that Kanye would believe all of this. You yes, know what I mean? right. And I can also believe that if his wife, Bianca was in Australia for a couple of weeks, as she does from time to time to visit family. I can totally believe that Kanye is a type of jealous, sort of manipulative sort of guy that controlling, controlling that would not like um, Bianca maybe to doing stuff that he didn't approve of. Or, or being with people that he doesn't like. Right. So, you know, hiring some Melbourne sort of private investigator to make sure she's not like stepping out on him, to me, seems entirely believable. But I guess we'll wait and see what the court case goes. Yeah, and the man also alleges that in May 2024, Kanye began exhibiting erratic behavior, possibly as a result of his alleged nitrous oxide usage after implanting titanium grills on his teeth. Yeah, he had those crazy grills. And yep. then he, yeah, he, he was using some drug after he got the grills in. And that made him a little crazy, this is alleged. Um, and when this John Doe came to Kanye saying, hey, you know your school, the Donder Academy? Um, they're sort of like, there are complaints of the children, you know, not being well looked after at the school. Right. And when he brought this, he's the messenger for this complaint. Kanye yelled at him and um, threatened him with bodily harm. Uh, and now he's seeking some sort of damages, uh, not only for the pay that he hasn't been, re hasn't received yet, but also for these threats. All of this yeah. is alleged, you know, all of this is just one guy's claim against Kanye. Um, but yeah. Wow. I I, be, I believe some Sounds of it. Sounds believable. To, to me, to me anyway, uh, it'll be interesting to see how this shakes out. Yeah, and what Connie's response will be. On to our next story. Martha Stewart, she admitted to cheating on her husband in a biopic, oh, a, a documentary story. about her. Um, her husband was... Uh, Andrew Stewart. Yeah, they were married for nearly 30 years. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and when she makes this confession in the documentary, uh, it's almost it's almost like the documentarian pulls it out of her. Let's have a listen to it now. If you're married and your husband starts to cheat on you, he's a piece of shit. Get out of that marriage. Didn't you have an affair early on? Yeah, but I don't think Andy ever knew about that. So that's crazy. If if her ex-husband is hearing about this for the first time right now, yep. uh, how do you feel about that? I mean, I think it's crazy that it never, it seems to have never come up in the mm -hmm. relationship because she says that she doesn't even think he knows mm. about it. Um, but I'm sure now with this information being public, I'm sure he now knows and is probably like, oh, okay, that makes sense for this. That makes sense. Right. Like he's probably piecing the puzzle together. Um, but she also said they don't have any kind of friendship or any kind of communication. Yes, she said, I mean, this is why maybe he doesn't know. <clears throat> she said that- You okay? Uh, I'm okay. You're getting Sorry. choked up about Martha Stewart? Cheating. Oh, Martha Stewart <laughs> makes me all choked up. <laughs> oh, um, she's like the sexiest old lady there is. Yeah, she's sexy. I mean, Helen Mirren's pretty good. Looking at actually old photos of, of, of Martha Stewart- She's with, beautiful. She's beautiful, but she's more beautiful now. Oh, that's so sweet. I, I, I'm not trying to be like all feminist and everything like that. Yeah. I'm just saying I would rather bang an older Mother Stewart than a younger one, which all is right, kind of crazy all to right. say. Anyway, what was I talking about again? <laughs> I don't if, know. If, they haven't talked since the divorce. So assumedly yeah. he, he's hearing this for the first time. What do you think about, like, I, I'm anti-cheating, of course. I've never cheated. I'll never cheat. And she was anti-cheating anti too. Right. Because her whole thing was... You should never cheat, da da da. And then the the person interviewing had to be like, "Didn't you cheat?" Right. Like called her out. So the fact, do you ever think? My question was, do you ever think then cheating can be? Um, is is it always bad for a relationship? Or can, yes. Or you know you know how sometimes a, 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 a partners cheat on each other, then they re find their love and passion for each other. I think that's a very hard thing to get over. Right. Look, do people come out on the other side and get back together and work it out? Yeah, but I feel like it's always deep in you. I it's wonder why Martha sitting there. Why did Martha keep it from him then? Because she didn't now. want him to know. She's trying to get away with it. She's trying to get away with it? Yeah. I mean, not everyone cheats to get caught. No, I mean, yeah. I, I, there's a reason that Martha didn't reveal it. <clears throat> what is going Are on? Are you okay? I think I'm dying. Are you still recovering from the surgery, the procedure that you had? My vasectomy? Yes. I don't think that reaches Why do the you throat. say it like that, my vasectomy? Why do oh. you like... <laughs> the emphasis on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still dealing with it. My... Well, it's Friday. I it's know. It's Friday. Uh... <sighs> Let's just move on. <laughs> I mean, I We're don't know where we are. We're not cheating. All right. On to our next story. Okay. Jessica Chastain. What is going on with her, Charlie? Uh, she's all over the internet. Yeah. So she's receiving mixed reviews, but kind of a lot of backlash on social media over her criticism of over JetBlue handling a $15 refund from them to her. So she says that her and her husband, Gian, took a six-hour JetBlue flight, but the entertainment system didn't work. So she took to Twitter, like you do, if you want to complain, make it be seen, get mm. some kind of payment out or whatever. She, she tagged JetBlue. She said, Thanks, thank you, JetBlue, for your $15 credit. My flight was $1,500, and the credit is one one-hundredth of the money I paid you. Good math. She then deleted the tweet uh, and and put, strange that I paid, strange that I paid that for your flight entertainment system that didn't work for the duration of my six-hour flight, but I guess it was worth it for this $15 credit. So she's like kind of being snarky, right? Being she's, like, she's saying, really? Okay, this is what she's saying. She's saying, I paid $1,500 for my tickets. Yep. Why am I getting a $15 refund? And the other customers on board who paid less for their tickets are getting the same refund. I should be paid, refunded proportionate to the amount I paid. And that's what pissed people off. Like that well, you're because saying- because she doesn't need money also. Right. She, you know, she's a, she says, I'm a true blue account holder. I need more of a refund. You know, having said all this, it'd be super annoying if I was on a six hour flight with no Wi-Fi and no like entertainment system and I'd paid a lot of money. That's expensive, you know, $1,500 for a six hour flight. That's expensive. She bought first class. Yes, agreed. However, I feel like a lot of people would argue that they're now going like cold turkey on flights. Have you heard about this? No. You sit there on the flight. You don't watch any TV. You don't have Wi-Fi. Who, who does that? You just sit there and you like challenge yourself. Who does that? It's a new thing on TikTok. 
Really? Yes. Raw, Raw dogging. dogging. Flights. Yes. Would you ever do that um, going from L.A. to Australia? Just sitting there and seeing if you have the control to stay off all well, social media, all electronics. Yeah, well, I mean, these days, yes, I have to because I got. I'm about to go to Australia and I got two kids, and that's you're, the whole time you're Ooh. juggling them. Yeah, so you don't have time anymore. So I don't have time for social media anyway. But uh, I, I just think this is like kind of annoying, a little bit of a Karen ish. It is a Karen thing. thing. If you get and a complaint, also, it, it, just call. Yeah, just call and keep it private. I feel like it was a little. And look, I have done this before. I have like tweeted like at Southwest or whatever and been like, really? Like seven hour delay? Like this is not fair. Right. I'm like a regular person, yeah. you know? But I do feel like when such high profile celebrities do that, I don't know. I just feel like it's a little not cute. Not cute. Yeah. It's kind of like you're at the top of the top and you're arguing over 15 bucks. I mean. And again, just call. Just call. Keep it private. But you need the public pressure on them sometimes. I think that's right. what you're trying to do. But really, is, does she really need this? I like, mean, use your power for like other things. Yes. Right? Exactly. Oh, we agree on something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On to our almost new segment. Last segment of the week. Travis Kelsey's ex, Kayla Nicole. She appeared on Angel Reese's podcast and she says that the hate she's getting from Swifties to this day yeah. really affects her. Let's have a listen to her now. Do you think that because of who he started to date, the negativity the, from the, neg the negativity from her fan club or her fans mm -hmm. have affected you? Um, I would be lying if I said that that level of hate and just like online chaos doesn't impact me. It does, yeah. even to this day. Yeah, so you still experience it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You could go to my most recent post and it will be people debating each other why I am worthless and I'll never be a talented person and I have no career and I'm yeah. a bum and I just... Not nice. Not nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Not nice for who? What side? For Kayla. Oh, yeah. What do you like, mean? people not, are not nice to her. Yeah, what's oh, the other okay. side of things? Okay. Well, some people are like, why is she always talking about him she, and her? She was asked about it on a podcast. Which is the only time we hear about her. Right? Okay. Why are you, why are you tr trashing her, no, though? No, like, I'm, I'm not. I, I think it's horrible. I can't imagine being in that position. But I think the Swifties are like, She's always in the news only about Travis and Because Taylor. that's the only news about her that we cover. Yeah, no, I agree. So I, you can't be annoyed at her. Right. But J she's also Kayla. doing interviews. She's doing, so she should turn down the interview with Angel Reese because she's worried she's going to ask one question about Travis? I mean, yeah. No, oh, okay. Also, she did that promo recently. Did you see that promo where she like mentioned they talked about Travis Kelsey? Because that's her job. Her job is to commentate football. It was a promo that was specifically designed for her to only talk about him. That's her bosses. Why do you hate Kayla so much? No, no, I, I don't. She actually used to work here. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah. Whereabouts? She was a PA here for a little bit. I want to say like 2015 era. Oh, wow. I yeah, was no, super, I was here around then. I mean, she's like, what, like a TV host and yeah. stuff now? I mean, she's crushing it for sure. I, I can't imagine having the Swifties, like that army coming after you. Um, but yeah, I, I would just say like, it's, it would just be so hard to navigate your career and like keep an arm's distance from right. that whole narrative. Because the only reason why people are gonna want you on their show is to talk about that. And then once you talk about it, you're getting more hate. Every time you bring it up, this hate that she's talking about, it's just gonna keep coming and coming. I know, but I mean, my point is that she didn't bring it up. It's like, well, yeah. is she just supposed to, whenever someone asks her about Travis or Taylor, just like, sorry, no comment. Every, but then, then that'd be the story. So I, I just feel sorry for her. The Swifties, man, they're a rabid bunch. They yes. like go crazy. And so it must be hard being her. She said when she sees Travis in public, they give each other a head nod. Not that she's opposed to sort of like, you know, going to chat to him, but she just knows then everyone's going to talk. And so it's not even worth it. Have you had an ex that like moved on? And no. was like, what? what? No? My exes don't move on. <laughs> they're, they're still <laughs> stuck on you? Yes. Wow. Okay. I, I feel like I got to call up uh, Michelle. Michelle. Call up uh, Gina. Oh, call right. Up, uh, wow, <laughs> Gina. List. She was a wild one. <laughs> um, where were we again? <laughs> Did you see Angel Reese twerking, by the way? 
Angel yes, Reese. Yes, I love Angel Reese. I love Angel Reese too. She She's is. got great style too. She really does. She looks like a supermodel. She, she, I she mean, could be like runway, like worthy. Yeah, just like twerking video. Mm -hmm. I've never seen Angel twerk before. but And? Was, man, did it it's do fantastic. something for you? It did, really did. Did it make your uh, hurt balls okay. feel a little better? All right, Charlie. <laughs> that was gratuitous bringing up my balls like that. <laughs> okay. Oh, i got to get the picture out of my head now. All right. All right. So that... Today in history. <laughs> well, first of all, we're kind of making history today. Okay. This is our last Today in History. No We're going to be way. going live. The TMZ podcast is going to be going live starting Monday Stop on it. YouTube. Stop it. Very exciting. We're moving up in the world. Woo -woo! And the last today in history. That is such I good know. news. I know. I wish I had better topics. But wait, why is it good news? It's, I mean, it kind of, uh, go on. Just okay, hit us with it. Okay, okay. Uh, so today is National Coming Out Day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to reveal, Charlie? Not right now. <laughs> Not right now. Happy day. Happy coming out to everyone. Yep. Happy coming out. Uh, today on this day on 1975, Bill Clinton and Hillary got married. Ooh. Happy anniversary. Happy They've married. had a real testy marriage. Haven't they? That's 30, 40 years. Wow. That's a long marriage, actually. Wow. Congrats. Good, good quick math. Thank you. Thank you. I would have been like, eh, around five. <laughs> around five? <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. Uh, this day in 1975, SNL, Saturday Night Live, debuted. Wait. So SNL debuted on the same day that Bill and Hillary got married. Yes. What a great day. What a fantastic day in Do you think history. they like went out to dinner and came home and like put on the tube and watched so. it? I think so. Cute. Wow. Maybe a little chaka chaka after. Chaka chaka. <laughs> That's what Charlie says when she means sex. Hey, it's a thing. Look at the Urban chaka. Dictionary. Okay. This day in 1997, Elton John's Candle in the Wind hit number one. I'm actually glad you raised Elton John because he's got really? an awesome new necklace and it's made out of his necklace. He's made out of his kneecap. He got his Wait, kneecap. Wait, it's a necklace? Necklace. Okay. He, he got his kneecap removed from his knee, and they made a necklace out of it, and it looks really great. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. He has, like, a bone necklace? Yes. It looks fantastic. We're kind of running late, so let's just move on. That's oh, okay. a fun fact. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Birthdays today, Cardi B, Aiden Ross, and Luke Perry. Congrats, wow. guys. Glad you made it. And yes, and happy Friday. Any uh, quick uh, fun plans this weekend? No. Nah, being a dad. You? And recovering? And recovering. My balls are very swollen, which is kind of a side benefit. Oh, uh, why is that a benefit? You know? N no woman wants to see <laughs> your balls. Or especially big balls. Yeah, now I've got literally blue balls. My, literally. Uh, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> too far? <laughs> too far. All right. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> and we'll see you guys here next week live. Happy Friday. Bye.